Aho. Aho. Hey, member of the Voice of Reason. I'm coming at you today, and today we're going to be talking about why being a dirty old man is never okay. Um, when I mean by dirty old man, I'm not referring to if you're in your early 30s and the girl's in her 20s. That's not, too, that's, not, that's not too bad. It means you're dating a slightly older guy, and you pretty much, for the most part, you want someone that's beyond some... Sorry. You're, it means that you want to date someone who's grown past them, their, their incessant urge to screw anything with a hole in them and suck down beer kegs on a weekly basis. You want more than that. You want more than watching some guy puking all over himself on the sidewalk and getting arrested from being drunk and stupid all the time. Or worrying about who he's sleeping with and who, you know, what's he doing and all that fun stuff. And how many trips do you have to take to find your parents to get yourself checked out or you get her to do or you're worrying about unplanned pregnancies. Right? You, you, want, you, want, you want more than that. It's understandable. Um, I'm referring to guys who are like 45 and older. Guys who are basically pushing 50 and or 60 or 70 and they're dating a girl that clearly they're old enough to father or even weirder, even weirder grandfather. That's a, it's, it's really weird and disgusting. And not to mention that, okay, just bear in mind that, you know, if you're dating a girl that you're old enough to father, you're kissing someone whose diapers you could have easily changed. That's nasty. Which means if you have a daughter, which I do, um, you have to look her in the face after you suck the face with somebody her age. Uber gross. You know, um, on how much, if you're a sugar daddy, you get the money. Yeah, even then, son, it's not okay. You know, it's well, yeah, there, there's a few fundamental down, downsides to that. One of them, number one, you permit you provide long-term security and you're in a long-term relationship with a much younger girl. Um, that girl's going to let your money go to her head. You know, and eventually she's going to turn to somebody that her friends and family don't recognize and not for the good either. Nothing is more nothing is more ugly than watching a girl turn on them, um, and turn, turn into turn to a, um, either a, um, a brash, a new person or a brutish and selfish person due to the fact that her sugar, sugar daddy boyfriend's money back to her head. Not okay. Um, that's that's one of the first downsides to being a dirty old man. Another one is, um, other type of dirty old man is the type that are, you know, you're old enough to grandfather the girl, you're broke, you don't have a cent to your name, and you're just taking advantage of someone who's basically young and impressionable. That's sick and disgusting and weird. And um, you will always have a long list, long list of guys younger than you wanting to beat the shit out of you. And literally, quite literally. And if you know if the cops see, like uh, if the cops know, you know, know that you got beat up for being a dirty old man, they're not going to put forth or um, they're not going to put forth the best effort to catch a person who beat you up. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, that's the downside. Though. It's also sick and weird, and you're also selfishly holding that girl hostage in your life. For some younger, nice guy who's closer to her age, who deserves to be with her, and they deserve to have a future together. But you, I, it, there is nothing okay about being a dirty old man, ever, ever. It's not okay now, and uh, it was not okay 800 years ago. It's not okay now, and it won't be okay 500 years from now. Yeah, you know, it's never, it has never been okay, and it never will be okay. Uh, which is why society as a whole goes out of the way to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, you know, there are, and there's three possible ways you can get beaten up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that you, you can be dealt with for being a dirty old man. Number one, you know, um, first there's a um, bunch of guys can put on um, hoodies and ski masks and rubber gloves and beat the shit out of you. Um, you know. The, the criminal only can cause to cut the brake lines in your car, or you know, and, or in general, just as a whole, local businesses and places will make your life much more difficult and miserable as you carry yourself. And again, being a dirty old man never okay, no matter what you do. Yeah, people will tolerate for a while, but eventually, when word gets around, it's going to get uglier and uglier and uglier and uglier, no matter what happens. So yeah, you don't want to be a dirty old man. Yeah. Just
Just remember, if you're old enough to father her or grandfather her, just back off. Back off. Or some some schmuck like me, I'm going to lie to you out and embarrass you in front of people. I don't give a fuck. That's just how I am. You're a disgusting person if you do that. Bottom line. The only thing that stops me from hitting you is that you have any big guys like that. Is that, you know, um, I'm not doing time for them or anybody. Sorry. You're not worth going to jail over. Anyway, this is Aim Member the Voice of Reason. I'll hold.